So what weapons do we have against the shaitan, against the evil eye, against magic, against the jinn? What weapons do we have? The book of Allah is our most powerful weapon. The Quran is a cure for every illness, whether it's related to jinn or whether it's related to something else, evil eye or something else. The Quran is a cure for every single illness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we sent down from the Quran that which is healing and mercy for the believers, but it does not increase the wrongdoers except in loss. So the Quran is our most powerful weapon against the shaitan. Dua is our next most powerful weapon. Dua reminds us that nobody can remove the harm we are suffering except Allah. Another weapon that we have against the shaitan, believe it or not, is water. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made water mubarak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we have sent down blessed rain from the sky. The most blessed form of water that we can use is of course, Zamzam. That often when they drink this water that's been recited upon, they will vomit up the magic that they have eaten. And if somebody is suffering from possession or magic, they'll often almost certainly they will refuse to drink this water or they will find it very, very hard to drink. Likewise, one of the weapons that we have against the shaitan is dates. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, whoever eats seven dates in the morning will not be afflicted by poison or magic on the day that he eats them. You do that believing firmly that nothing will harm you. Wallahi, there is no sahir in the world. There is no magician in the world that can harm you. Likewise, from the weapons that we can use to protect ourselves from the shaitan is honey. Honey is one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described as a cure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there emerges from their bellies a drink varying in colors in which there is a healing for people. Indeed, and this is a sign for people who give thought. Cupping or hijama is from the advice of the angels. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I did not pass by an angel from the angels on the night journey, except that they all said to me, you must do cupping, O Muhammad. Narrated by Ibn Majah. Cupping is a general cure for all illnesses. Al-Bukhari narrated, Rahimahullah, indeed the best of remedies you have is cupping. Likewise, we talked about being able to burn the, the magic contract. If you find a ta'wil or you find something that appears to be from this actions of the shaitan or it, it appears to be some form of magic that was done or you doubt about it, strange shapes, strange names, ayat of the Quran written in blood or ayat of the Quran written on strange paper, maybe powders inside. You'll see uh, circles, you'll see things written inside, stars of David with things written inside of it. You'll see squares with letters, random letters written in or random numbers. Anything like this you see, the best way to protect yourself from it is first of all to seek refuge with Allah from the shaitan. You can read upon it the ayah uh, قَدْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ And if you wish, you know, whatever of the ayat you know, you know, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدُ قُلْ عَوْذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقُ قُلْ عَوْذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ And you simply burn it until it no more remains. And this is how we treat because often they have the name of Allah there so we don't throw it in the bin. We burn it and then if you were to take the ashes and to sprinkle them in clean earth or to put them in water which has been recited upon, this is something that some of the mashayikh recommend. However, if any of these ta'wees or any of these magic contracts contain knots, you must be very careful that you get rid of all of the knots by unfolding them or by cutting them until the knot does not remain because these knots like Allah Azza wa Jal says in Surah Al-Falaq, from the evil of the women who blow on the knots. They tie knots and they, they blow on the knots. So you must remove the knots that you find in them. And you know, generally you treat this like you would treat anything that has the name of Allah on it, that you burn it or that you, you, know, you dispose of it appropriately, but you destroy that piece of paper or that object as completely as you possibly can. One of the best things that you can do to protect yourself from all of these afflictions is your house and your environment. Having an Islamic household, having an Islamic environment is from the greatest of weapons that you can have. It makes it extremely difficult for the shaitan and it makes the ruqya more effective. Okay, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Shahadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaykum.